the United States used to have the largest and strongest middle class in the entire world. But those times are long gone. Now the American middle class is rapidly shrinking and the current economic conditions are accelerating that process even further. We've never seen prices reach stratospheric levels so rapidly and a series of economic trends show that this is just the beginning. That's why today we have compiled several stats that uncover the distressing effect of soaring prices in the lives of millions of middle-class families all across the country. But before checking this list, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our future videos. Without further ado, here are 15 facts that show rising prices are absolutely eviscerating America's shrinking middle class. Fact number one, the American consumer is in a very dark mood. Amid soaring prices for virtually everything, consumer sentiment plunged again last month, hitting its lowest level since August 2011, according to the University of Michigan. In March 2021, the Consumer Sentiment Index was 84.9. In March 2022, the index was revised down to 59.4. The chief economist for the University of Michigan Surveys of Consumers, Richard Curtin, says that when consumers were asked to explain changes in their finances in their own words, many of them mentioned reduced living standards due to rising inflation than any other time except during the two worst recessions in the past 50 years, from March 79 to April 1981, and from May to October 2008. Moreover, 32% of all consumers expected their overall financial position to worsen in 2022, the highest recorded level since the survey started in the mid-1940s, Curtin revealed. Fact number two. On Monday, a new poll conducted by CNBC exposed that U.S. middle-class consumers have reported a record-high fear over surging prices. Over the past month, the median expectation for rising prices rose 10%, the highest level in a series that dates to 2013. As everything becomes significantly more expensive, Expectations of household spending on everyday goods have climbed from 1.3% to 7.7% in March, as consumers now see inflation jumping another 6% this year, the report shows. Fact number three. At this point, two-thirds of Americans say higher prices have been difficult or even a hardship, and they're now forcing many to make cutbacks. About 66% of American families have reported financial struggles caused by the increase in the cost of living, with 28% saying that rising prices are burdensome. Only 8% of the population said that the surge in consumer costs did not affect their lives, analysts highlighted in a CBS study published yesterday. Fact number four, middle and upper income earners are under more financial stress than a year ago. Roughly 45% of those with incomes of $100,000 or more have reported difficulties to make ends meet, according to a new momentive research. Even high-income consumers are revealing worries that higher prices will force them to rethink financial decisions, with 68% of them concerned about rising living expenses. According to Laura Ronsky, the senior manager of research science at Momentive, people making six-figure incomes are almost as worried about inflation as people making half as much, and they are just as likely to be taking steps to mitigate its effect on their lives. Inflation is a problem that compounds over time, and even middle and upper income individuals won't be insulated from the second and third order effects of price increases, she said. Fact number five. Right now, 53% of Americans are being forced to cut back on food and groceries 
because they can no longer afford to purchase the same amount of products they used to two years ago. On top of that, 64% are driving less due to soaring gas prices and 66% are cutting back on all unessential expenses, such as leisure, travel and entertainment, CBS reported. Fact number six, a new study by Wells Fargo discovered that the middle class is getting more financially squeezed by rampant prices than any other income group in the United States. Inflation was half a point higher for middle income consumers than those at the highest and lowest end of the spectrum, Wells Fargo economists found. The fear of inflation, the health crisis, and the conflict between Russia and Ukraine are challenging what future generations consider to be the American dream, outlined money expert Serene Pierce. Fact number seven. Moody's analytics data showed that inflation is costing the average middle-class individual an additional $300 per month. That is going to get worse before it gets better, according to Moody's analytics senior economist Ryan Sweet, who conducted the analysis. Fact number eight. For the average middle-class household, that figure is significantly higher. Yardani research reported that the elevated costs for gas and food can potentially amount to $3,000 less money for the average middle-class household. Gasoline now costs the average household almost $2,000 a year. We estimate that the middle-class families are currently spending at least $1,000 more on food as a result of rapidly rising grocery prices. Edward Yardini, the president of the firm, wrote in a recent note. That's $3,000 less money that households have to spend on other consumer goods and services, which also are experiencing rapid price increases, he added. Fact number nine. Meanwhile, home prices are absolutely exploding. Over the past two years, they went up by a staggering 32.6%. Since January, over 9 million Americans have been priced out of the housing market as rising mortgage rates have worsened the affordability crisis, according to estimates released by the National Association of Realtors. Fact number 10. The latest jump in mortgage rates has effectively put home buyers in the worst position since 2007, according to one metric produced by Black Knight, that's a mortgage technology and data provider. At current mortgage rate levels, the average American middle-class household would have to spend 29% of its monthly income to make a mortgage payment on the average priced U.S. home. Fact 11. At the same time, most people are barely scraping by from month to month, and the meteoric rise in the price of consumer goods is certainly not helping matters. According to one survey published on March 13th by research firm Lending Club, nearly 64% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck, and that's a three percentage point increase from the month prior. For middle-income earners who make between $50,000 and $100,000 a year, 67% admitted they are living paycheck to paycheck. Researchers also highlighted that even among individuals with six-figure salaries, 48% of respondents noted that they're living paycheck to paycheck. Fact 12. The Lending Club research also found that more Americans are relying on credit cards to pay off their bills. Data described that among consumers earning up to $100,000 who do live paycheck to paycheck and are struggling to pay their bills, 33% would use a credit card to cover an emergency expense and pay it off over time, while another 20% would use a credit card and pay it off in full. Every day, we see Americans relying on credit cards as a crutch, which is a horrible way to borrow money if you don't intend to pay off the entire balance at the end of every month," Naya added. According to the Federal Reserve, in February alone, revolving credit, primarily credit card debt, climbed by a whopping 20.7%.
In that month, American consumers added $18 billion to their credit card bills, pushing the national consumer credit card debt to over $1.06 trillion. 13. Today, middle-class workers now believe they need to make approximately $122,000 annually. That's more than double the current national average salary to feel financially secure, according to a report from the financial services website Personal Capital. Fact 14. Middle-class workers are worried about their jobs, too. Data collected in the survey conducted by the New York Fed shows that anxiety over job stability, with the probability of losing one's job in 2022, jumped to 11.1%, and 36.2% of respondents also said they think the unemployment rate will increase over the next 12 months. And Fact 15 if you think things are bad right now. In a couple of months, they could be a whole lot worse. Even the White House is warning that consumers should brace for some painful price hikes in the coming weeks and months. In a recent statement, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said that the federal government expects inflation to be extraordinarily elevated due to the massive jump in oil and gas costs. The price for a gallon of regular unleaded gasoline hit a record high of $4.33 on March 11th, according to the American Automobile Association. Now, average gas prices stand at $4.11, and that's compared to $2.86 a year ago. You know, with each passing month, it gets harder and harder for millions of middle-class families to keep their heads above the water as inflation eats up a larger share of their monthly incomes. That's compromising the purchasing power of hardworking Americans who dedicate their lives to building a comfortable lifestyle. As the price of everything reaches new record highs, this situation is rapidly becoming unsustainable. Consumer spending is set to collapse, which is gonna hamper economic growth and in turn, cause wages to flatline. In fact, we're on the verge of another economic recession, and all of the facts we have shared with you today are proof of that. Americans have never experienced so much financial suffering since the 2008 Great Recession, and of course the Great Depression of the 1930s. Unfortunately, as we're being told, a lot more pain is ahead, and at this point, Given that our leaders continue to overlook our worsening problems, we should start doing whatever we can to protect ourselves and our families from the coming chaos, because it is crystal clear now that we are on our own.